to be able to transform a sculpture into a garment without having to really transform the geometry. Like you can just take it as is and print it like this. Like this, this is really interesting. So it, it made us look at shape a different way. Using a computer software in that instance is Rhino, but it allow us to develop like a volumes and shapes that you cannot do in traditional draping. So it was one of the main interests. The other very important part for us, like how can you distort the weaving? You can do plain weave, you can do jacquards, and suddenly like you can also add almost like a third dimension to weaving with like moments where you tell your thread like to sort of like mess up the weaving. For us it was very interesting. It, it became very poetic and unusual. IBEAM is a center that is at the cutting edge of the uh, technology that uses art, um, as well as art that uses technology. Um, and the two worlds learn from each other at IBEAM primarily through our residency programs. Um, and the computational fashion initiative is certainly in line with that larger mission of IBEAM. And what we see around us today is the outcome of not just this most recent master classes work, but IBEAM's development of this program over the last years. We came up with butterfly microstructures as our source of inspiration. And um, under a scanning electron microscope, you can see all kinds of fascinating architectures. And each species has its own architecture um, with, with the eggs and forms they make, but also in the scales on their wings. We looked at that, and this is a butterfly scale. This is also a butterfly scale. So we were really interested in um, the menswear aspect of fashion and 3D printing because we haven't really seen it. So we wanted to explore the idea of, you know, of bespoke menswear and handcraft. So we actually hand dyed it and we also hand embroidered it to give it like a couture feel. The information was all open source. We were very surprised and delighted with how generous they were with not only the process, but the code itself to generate the artwork. And the community is founded on everyone developing further ideas from it being so available to everyone.